Hello, my name is Eric, a member of the support team here at Prototech. In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at some of the new interface elements found in Mastercam 2026. At first glance, I can see that much has remained the same, but I do notice a couple little different things. Right here on my screen, I have some new access to some of my plane functions, and I can see that my machine group properties now gives me quick access to every single page found in the job setup. There are also some minor interface changes, for instance in the facing toolpath parameters, the cut parameters page has been reorganized a bit, but all the same settings. Where I start seeing a little bit more change is in my levels in planes manager. Let's take a look at the levels manager. They've added some new functions for organizational tools, searching and some other things, but there is also much the same. I can click on the first kind of row here to set what the current active level is. If I want to make a new level, I can hit the plus button and type in a label for it right away. If I want to control the visibility, there's a new eyeball icon here that I can currently see the level. If I click it, it goes away. Planes Manager looks much the same. I go to the Planes Manager, I see many of my same buttons across the top here, but I do have some new folder organizational tools. I also can control what level is active by highlighting and hit the equals button like before, or I can click on the various planes, the my WCS C and T. And I still have a right click menu with the same. I can create my planes here. I have my properties down on the bottom. For instance, if I want to change the front plane to work offset one for G55, I can flip it to manual. And then I can set my value. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe.